All right, there are various chemicals in darkroom photography that we need to create in advance to be able to develop film or to print a picture. In this video, I'm simply going to demonstrate how to make Dektol, which is the developer that we use when we're printing a picture in the darkroom. So there's this gray cabinet, which is noisy and hard to open. And then you will see there are bags in here. Some of these bags say D76. This is the developer that we use to make film, and it even says film in that corner. And then there is Dektol, which is used for the photo paper in the darkroom. And this is what we're going to make today. Okay, when you're getting ready to make the Dektol, it should be sitting underneath here in two containers that should say Dektol under there. It probably even says, uh, I don't know, don't worry about that, but it does have the name of it on there. And there are two jugs. If they're ever very low, um, you, could try, you could pour one into the other if one of them was kind of low, and then we could make a bag of the Dektol. You could make it in here. There's water in here, hot water. We need hot water and stuff, but I'm gonna demonstrate making it outside in the main. Okay, when you get ready to make it, the materials, the, the things that we need to make it are underneath here. Sometimes these containers might be pretty nasty on the inside, so you're gonna wanna rinse them out a little bit, although this one's not horrible. You're gonna wanna rinse them out a little. There's also funnels in here, and some of these funnels are just a regular funnel. You can see right through it, see my eyeball? But this one has a screen on it. You want one that's gonna filter it, so you wanna make sure that you're getting a funnel that has a screen. You can kinda of see that in there a little. All right, now I'm just gonna get really hot water. In fact, you wanna wait for a minute and really let it get hot. And then we're gonna fill this up to about eh, between three, 3.5 quarts, somewhere in that. Four quarts to a gallon, and we're gonna make a gallon. So we're getting this nice and hot, hot as we can get it, hot as we can take it. Okay, when you get to that, now, sometimes it looks weird because it's kind of aerated, and, but it should be clean, regular water. And then you're gonna get some scissors and just cut the bag open a little. And then it's kind of like you're making lemonade, but you don't want to drink this stuff. And you're just gonna pour this in. You don't want to pour it in super fast. And you don't want to pour it in ridiculously slow either. Just kind of like, it's, you know, a decent amount's coming out. And you're stirring with the spoon, the big spoon. Try to get some real agitation going on. There is a bag of this Dektol where this will, some, there's different chemicals. It's even though it's still Dektol, sometimes you'll make this and it will be very weirdly brown. But as long as it came out of a bag that said Dektol, you'll be, you should be, it should be correct. Okay. Right. So I'm going. Got every bit of it in there. Then you're gonna top this off to four quarts with more hot water. So you really truly have a gallon's worth. And then stir a little bit more. All right. And then you wanna make sure this is cleaned out too, because God only knows how old, old the deck tall that was in there before. So you wanna kinda stir it. Ooh, see how nasty that was? Come over here and see this. So, well, it's not as nasty that time. It was like a brown, yeah, kind of like a brown. All right, so now, after you've cleaned that out, you cut, set the funnel in here, and you could actually set it in the sink, and then just start pouring this in. And because it has a screen, it, it takes a moment. But look, you can see there's kind of like debris in here. So that funnel is important because it's really kind of keeping some of that debris from getting into our into our developer, into our deck tall. Walk over and watch it go down the thing. Just speed that up. All 
That's good. Then after you've got it mixed up, just put the cap back on. Maybe rinse this again would be beautiful. Put the spoon in there. You can even drop the funnel in there. Put that back underneath. And then follow me and we will take this back and then just stick it right under here. Deck tall's here, under the developer, stop bath under the stop bath, fixer under the fixer. We'll learn how to make those other chemicals next time.